Hey, what's up, guys? So, first off, I want to apologize for not having a video uh, out the past couple of days. I've uh, been having a couple of things been going on. I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on videos. Um, I'm going to be having more free time coming up pretty soon, so I'm going to be getting back on the game series and stuff like that. But today, I want to cover something that I actually was not aware of uh, coming out myself. I actually was... Tipped off by a viewer. Uh, I'll have his credits in the comments. Uh, not in the comments, but you know, in the description down below. Um, it's a new project that's recently entered uh, public beta from the Ameliorated team, which are the people who brought us Windows AME. Um, something that's actually pretty exciting because it's going to change the way that uh, we use AME in the future because, first off, we don't have to ameliorate windows ourselves um because see they're not they're not updating the iso anymore um because they ran into legal trouble with distributing you know a iso of windows so they've been working on this wizard here that does pretty much just about everything for you um now i will tell you that you can't you still can't ameliorate your existing windows installation you're gonna to have to install this from scratch but now you can ameliorate um windows ame you can you can ameliorate windows 10 and 11 now so now you can get uh 11 ameliorated if you wanted to use that for some reason um but what is new about this well not only can you not only does it automate the amelioration process but there's a new concept called playbooks and um, what they basically are is they are scripts. They're like YAML scripts uh, that basically they tweak Windows with some out-of-the-box stuff that wouldn't be in the normal Windows AME installation to make it more apt for certain things. So right now we've got two options. We have Atlas OS and we have Revy OS. Um, we've got Atlas OS, which is uh, specifically designed for gaming. Uh, you know, it's got improvements for playing games, which I, I guess I'm gonna have to be reinstalling my gaming VMs pretty soon, because uh, I'm actually gonna cover this one in the video today. Um, and there's also Revy OS over here, which is basically, you know, it's a, it's a more stripped down version of Windows AME. Um, so I've already got a Windows 10, and by the way, you have to have the newest version of Windows. You can't use 21H2, I think, with these. I think you have to use 22H2. So we're going to go ahead and go over to... Our virtual machine here. I've already got it installed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run the wizard. So we've got the Amy Wizard Beta. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna download uh we're going to okay, first off we have to run this registry edit. That. Yep, we gotta run this registry edit right here. So we'll take this playbook and I will drop it here. Then we'll just go ahead and run through the instructions here. So we will, let's see, need to turn all of these off and speaking of which, let me make sure, yeah, I need to make sure I'm connected to the internet here. All right, now we can close this and we can click next. We need to prepare the system and uh, it'll likely restart it. All right, I'll go ahead and log in. Oh.
It's got the license agreements here. There's nothing to agree to except for after that. And this will probably take a while. It says uh, it should take about 30 minutes, which I'm not going to sit here and make y'all wait 30 minutes. All right, and it just finished installing. There we go, and now we are booted in. Go ahead and log in here. See, we got ourselves a nice little wallpaper. See what this folder is about. I think this is something that we need to go through. Uh, do chocolatey. Uh, we'll install the browser. Huh. Guess we'll go and try Scoop then. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think uh, Scoop's downloaded. I think for Windows guys, usually, uh, usually uh, Chocolatey is the package manager of choice. All right, we'll go ahead and install the browser. Uh, let's see, we can pick a couple here. Uh, we'll pick all, pick all, pick the good ones. We're not going to pick these two. So if you use Brave, though, I'm not going to judge you or anything like that. They should work on this installer, though, so that you don't have to rerun it several times for the different software. All right, I'm not even going to fool with that. Let's see. Uh, we'll run. Well, I don't need drivers. I guess you would do these if you're going to, you know, install your graphics drivers. But I'm running this in a virtual machine, though. If I was running it in, because I'm not going to use this for my gaming VM. I don't have it set up for that. Um, I, I would use the NVIDIA drivers as I pass through my NVIDIA card. Uh, I guess we'll do go through the configuration. That uh, there is a lot here, so it lets you get really get down to the nitty gritty. You don't have to do all this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is all. It already has defaults set up here, but uh, I don't think you have to run through those if you don't really want to. see the Microsoft Store is still here though so there might be something that we've got to do I'm pretty sure we'll have to run through this activation here for instance I may have just messed something up. What you get for not reading? Yeah, that's because it's using Internet Explorer, that's why. Hold on. See if I can fix that. Oh, 
Wait, is Firefox not installed? Okay, it's because I didn't run it with admin rights. Man, I'm sure you guys won't have as much issue as I'm having here. I'm pretty sure I just did something wrong. I don't think I did. Just path my way to... We'll just download Firefox the uh, the old fashioned way then. Hold on, uh, let me do this real quick. I actually don't think that did it. See, I don't see why they would make you run these scripts if you don't have... I should read the documentation. Let me just read that. Okay, so Atlas OS, um, unlike regular AME, is not pre-activated. So you have the option to remove the Microsoft Store, which if you do care about privacy, you probably shouldn't have the Microsoft Store. I 
installed, but I'm not going to be doing that, though. <clears throat> So basically it's got it's got everything you need here to be able to set this up in documentation because you are you are gonna have to set this up yourself. But um this is an exciting new venture that the AME devs are going in um and seeing with these playbooks, they it almost sort of reminds me of Linux um as well as like do, with Linux distributions because you've got these these different playbooks that allow you to set up um, your systems in predetermined ways. Uh, so that way you can have, cause I mean, they even call this like Atlas OS, you know, it's like, it's still windows, but it's a, like, it's a distribution of windows that comes with a way to be able to set this up yourself. So you got something that's, that's different than windows. You don't have like the telemetry or anything like that. Um, I'm going to probably work on this some, and I'll make a gaming virtual machine. My, you know, like I'll make my new virtual machine. I'll make my gaming virtual machine an Atlas OS thing, probably. Um, I actually don't know though yet. I have to do a little bit more research on this. I suggest y'all do as well. Um, but anyways, um. I've got an announcement to make. I'm also, I'm not, now keep in mind, I'm not leaving YouTube, obviously. I'm going to be making this my main platform, but I am going to be uploading to Library as well, also known as Odyssey. So if you are not necessarily a big fan of YouTube and you want to still watch my content, you can watch me on there. Um, I probably won't be so active on there. I do watch stuff on Odyssey. Um, but I don't always go on Odyssey, if that makes sense, because not every uh, content creator uh, uploads there. But anyways, if you if you like what you see here, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I believe you have three options for playbooks. You have Windows AME, you know, the default one, and then you have these two distributions of Windows AME, so to speak, which is, you know, Atlas OS and Revy OS. Um, if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe, uh, comment down, you know, any suggestions for video ideas that y'all want. If you want to make the switch of Linux, check out my video essays, uh, my guides, my essays are on, uh, the philosophy of free and open source software. I've got, uh, let's plays if you want to see how Linux gaming is. Um, otherwise I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you'll have an awesome, wonderful rest of y'all's day.